Welcome back to Access Middle East. Omar, let's uh, talk a little bit more about Kuwait. Do you think the country is on a solid political footing? Because it seems that a lot of the important reforms and decisions that need to be taken get stuck in Parliament. Well, you know, we are the only functioning democracy in, in the Gulf. And, and with that are going to come some teething pains. And, and we're going through some of those teething pains now. Um, we, we, we would like to see, as a private sector, and I, I think everybody within the country would like to see things happening faster. Uh, but with, with the political system we have now, with the government and then the, the, the parliament, it takes longer for things to get done, and it takes longer for those decisions to happen. But what I do think we have is a very stable political system. Because you know, wh while you hear lots of things in our newspaper now, when you go to other Gulf countries, you read the newspaper, and, and everything seems to be perfect. Whereas in our newspapers, we, have, we really do have a free press. So it gives people the opportunity to be able to say what's on their minds. It gives people the opportunity to be able to blow off steam. Anybody in parliament can go in and say whatever it is that they want to say. So it makes for some sensationalistic headlines, but also, in my opinion, makes for a very stable country because it's healthy for people to be able to get out what they want to say. Arguably, Kuwait is the more progressive of political systems within the Gulf. But also, at the same time, it's one of the lesser effective ones in getting things done. Is that a price worth paying? You know, I mean, if you look at your counterparts in Dubai, in Riyadh, in, in Doha, I mean, despite the tremendous oil wealth that this country has been endowed with, there's this sense of a lack of development for anybody who's toured this part of the world. That, I think that is pervasive I, I in think, this capital. I think to understand Kuwait, you, ne you need to take a, a, a brief history lesson and understand the contextual backdrop from which we're coming from. Um, Kuwait was the first country to really develop politically. And so we set up institutions and, and, and different bodies in the, in the 60s and in the 70s. And what those do is that they, they're, they become like a shock absorber. For, for, the, for the government and for everything to happen. So rather than just one person making a decision and saying it's going to be this way, it's going to be that way, things get referred to these institutions, to these committees, uh, which, which slow things down. So it, it stops lots of good stuff from happening real quickly. It also stops lots of bad stuff from happening quickly. But that's, that's part of being stable.